Hello! Good day everyone! Again, this is Gabriel Gamana. On this video, we will tackle the third topic under Chapter 3, the so-called Newton's Interpolation. So let's start! Another way to solve the value in between the known data points without having the exact solution is by means of Newton's Interpolation method. This method starts by defining the general equation of the polynomials, the so-called Newton's polynomial. Then, one by one, we will define the coefficients to complete the polynomial. To do that, say if we have two data points and we are asked to interpolate the value in between. Remember that the degree of interpolating equation is always minus 1 of the available data points. So the general equation will become, and by using the first data point, we can now determine the first coefficient, as well as using the second data point to define the other coefficient. We will apply the same mechanism to determine the other higher coefficients. To simplify, present the data point in tabulated form. As we proceed the computation, these terms are the divide difference part of Newton's interpolation, while well, these are the coefficient in Newton's polynomial. For the column of first degree divide difference, we will continue the pattern we use to get the first degree coefficient to determine the other parts of the column since they are relevant for the computation of higher degree coefficients, as shown. The same pattern will apply for the second degree divide difference, and so on. I just want to highlight that the pattern solving the coefficient on this table is to maintain this L-shape every row. While using the same x data point on the same row with the coefficient to fill these terms. While regardless of the coefficient, the same x value will use for this term. And as what we expect, as the degree of polynomial increases, the accuracy of interpolation also increases. To deeply understand the principle, let's solve a problem. Find the value of the function when x is equals to 4 using the first, second, and third order Newton's interpolation with the following data points. And to save time, let's just focus on the third order Newton's interpolation. To start the solution, remember that our goal is to determine the coefficient of Newton's polynomial. To do that, we have to tabulate the data of nth data point from n equals to 0 to n equals to 3. Where this column is the first degree divide difference. The second degree divide difference. And the third degree divide difference. For the first coefficient, it is equal to the y value of the first data point as discussed earlier. So a sub 0 is equal to 0 0.69315. While for the second coefficient, it is equal to the difference of these terms divided by the difference of these terms. So a sub 1 is equal to 1.79. 176 minus 0 0.69315 all over 6 minus 2 and that is equals to 0 0.27465. Let's now remain the other parts of the column as variable b and c. Then to determine the value of b 
we will continue the pattern we use so it is equal to the difference of these terms divided by the difference of these terms. So B is equal to 2.07944 minus 1.79176 all over 8 minus 6. And that is equal to 0 0.14384. The same pattern will apply for variable C. So C is equal to 2.30259 minus 2.07944. All over 10 minus 8. And that is equal to 0 0.111157. For the third coefficient, it is equal to the difference of these terms divided by the difference of these terms. So, A sub 2 is equal to 0 0.14384 minus 0 0.27465 all over 8 minus 2. And that is equal to negative 0 0.021. Eight zero. Again, naming the other part of the column as variable B. So using the same pattern, D is equals to zero point eleven one one five seven minus zero point one four three eighty four. All over 10 minus 6. And that is equals to negative 0 0.00807. Well, for the last coefficient, it is equal to the difference of these terms divided by the difference of these terms. So, A sub 3 is equal to negative 0 0.00807 minus negative 0 0.02180 all over 10 minus 2. And that is equals to 0 0.00172. Since we already defined the coefficients, we will now apply them to the general equation. So we have f of 4 is equals to 0 0.69315 plus 0 0.27465 multiplied by 4 minus 2 minus 0 0.02180 multiplied by 4 minus 2 multiplied by 4 minus 6 plus 0 0.00172 multiplied by 4 minus 2 times 4 minus 6 times 4 minus 8 and that is equals to 1.35713 go 
comparing this value to the exact solution will give us loan of 4 is equals to 1.38629, which is quite near to the interpolated value, but may still be improved with the introduction of additional data points. So that includes our manual computation using Newton's interpolation. This last part of the video is for the computerized computation using Newton's interpolation. Again, insert another module for our new method and rename it as Newton interpolation. Create a sub procedure and name it as Newton interpolation. Then, define the variable and their variable types, as well as the input box for the data set and the x coordinate. U bound function to count the number of data sets. Redeem to capture this type of table using array inside BBA. These lines will transfer the data points to fill this part of the array, while this line of codes will compute the divide difference part of the array. While for this line, it will compute the Newton's polynomial. Again, message box for the output. So if I run the code by pressing F5, it will ask me about the data sets as well as the x-coordinate. And by clicking OK, it will immediately present to me the interpolated value of the function. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you learned something new. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Keep safe everyone.